Hey, 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 welcome back to another episode of I'm a Chef. This is the one who thinks he's the chef. All right, well, what, what are you cooking today, Petra? <laughs> Actually, not much. What we're gonna do today is some broccoli. So you guys know it's all about simple meals. I already cooked a soup the other day, so I have some tortellini, sausage, spinach soup. I've done that for you guys before. Oop, I have a lock hanging, sorry guys. Um, so I can link that episode down below for you so you guys can see that. Actually, it may have actually been in a vlog now that I think about it, so it wasn't a separate episode. But we're gonna be doing some broccoli today and a special ingredient in it. Because again, I'm trying to do simple meals that are filling. I'm not eating a lot of meat right now. Baby, can you put this up for me? Um, so I'm gonna get it started. Cause I'm actually gonna start it right now, kinda get the broccoli cooking cause I like to cook it down. And then I'll be back. Okay, so we're just gonna get it all prepped together. So hold on one second. Okay, so I'm back. And if you haven't already stopped what you're doing, liked and subscribed, go ahead and do that. Cause you know the deal. Broccoli, like we do fresh broccoli over here. So we're gonna cook all this down. So I have three heads of broccoli. Gonna move y'all back a little bit. I'm actually, I may end up doing a chickpea dish as well. I'm not sure. So don't, don't hold me to it. But I may, I may end up doing a chickpea dish as well. There's, I had, I had gone to an event and had like chickpeas and sweet potatoes. So yummy. So I'm gonna see if I can figure that out. What that was, I may make that. Cause I do have chickpeas and I do have sweet potatoes as you can see back there. But right now, let's go rinse off the broccoli and start the boiling water. Okay, so I'm back. I am going to salt the water really quick because if you don't salt your water, salt your water. It really helps with the taste of your food. So, salt your water. I keep the bag. Uh-oh, it's dying. Ah! So really quick before it dies, I keep the bag so that I can put all of the trash from the broccoli in it. And then I'm going to put the broccoli in, cook it down for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna cook it on the stove for 20 minutes um, at about six to seven degree heat. And then I'll come back and we'll put it together. I'll show you the secret ingredient. I'll be back after I charge my battery. <laughs> the broccoli. Okay, so we're back. The broccoli has been cooked and put in a bowl. Evie is here, she's gonna be helping me and I'm gonna show you the secret ingredient. Cream cheese. Trust me, it is so delicious. It's like, it's like a cream spinach, but not a cream spinach because one, it's not cream and it's also not spinach, but it's good, it's good. So we were gonna add the cream cheese to it and the seasoning that I like to use is the Chef Paul Prudhomme Magic Salmon Seasoning. Y'all, listen, I know that this is not salmon, so it's also not cream spinach, but here we are. But this, Chef's kiss. So what we're gonna do really quick is I'm going to take this and I am going to very liberally season the broccoli, okay? Very, very liberally season the broccoli. And you can get this seasoning at Publix, which is where I get it, or you can, you probably can get it at Walmart too. All right, and so then I'm going to take a healthy, y'all, I just had a session with one of my friends i've been crying so i'm sorry i look crazy i look crazy but we're gonna take a really good healthy portion of the cream cheese huh huh you wanna see it okay let's show them just like that put it right on top and then evie is going to take the fork ready we gotta mash it in there Why are we mashing it? Because we want to get it all into the broccoli. 
and I cooked it down enough so where it's very soft and easy. Yeah, sure, baby. Hold on, okay. You heard her, she said she wants some. So this is a really good option if you're looking for ways to, I'm gonna make it lower so you can see her. See, loves it. It's really good. So we mash it up. You're trying to get veggies, do di different things with your veggies. Mmm, mm. it's so good. So, so good. Sorry guys, the air fryer's on behind you. So hopefully you guys can hear us. Whoa. Whoa. It's so big. Okay. You want to put in the rest of the cream cheese? Yeah. We'll put the rest in? Yeah. Okay. There you go. All right, mash it up. You got to mash it up. Hold on. Good job. Is it hard? There we go. So good. But, anyways. Having our conversation for, <laughs> for the day, um, I'm doing my sweet potatoes. That's what's in the air fryer right now for um, the chickpea dish. Um, so the, those are, they have like nine minutes left on it. So this is perfect time to get the broccoli together, smash it all up, and then Evie can eat. And then I can do, hold on, uh-oh, wait, let mommy help. Why, 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 what's that? That's a sweet potato. Some? Yeah, you're gonna have some too, baby. Oh, uh, I can't want some. You don't. You can't want some. Mm. Why? It's uh, it's yuck. It is. I, I can't taste it at all. Mm -hmm. Taste it. Okay. I'll put it out. It's not yuck. Yeah, sweet potatoes aren't necessarily your favorite thing. Mmm, that's good. Looks like face. Um, so let's talk about it. Let's let's get into this conversation about having recharge dates, things like that with your friends and being able to have just really transparent, organic conversations. Now, this person is also one of my mentees. So this was a part of like our mentoring session, but also after that we had like a recharge date just for the two of us. And it's really important to set aside time where you have those friends that you're able to just recharge, detox with, um, and have these conversations that need, oh, you want me to help you? That need to be had in safe spaces that maybe you've carried for a season, but also just checking in on them and where they are and where they need support and boosting um, and just being charged up, fired up, because so many of us have so many roles and responsibilities that we're carrying and do it, I'm gonna actually lift y'all up a little bit while she does her thing, um, that we forget that we actually need time to just sit, to just process, to be like a battery and recharge our friendships, our relationships, those areas that we draw support from. We're drawing support and so we're recharging while we do that, but we're also doing it for them. Thank you, baby. Evie likes things clean, right? <laughs> um, and so I'm, I'm going to challenge you. If you do not have recharge dates with your close friends, do it. Schedule it. Um, and they can be once a month. They can be a, a, every other month. I have a friend um, who's out in Texas, and she is incredible, amazing. Um, and we don't have um, recharges every month. Sometimes, sometimes we do. We have a season where we'll do every month. But then other times it just kind of goes with, okay, what fits into our schedules? What, what are we needing at this moment? And in this space, we're able to have the hard conversations, kind of share some of the fears, the joys, um, the areas that we need uh, clarity in and prayer in. Okay, hold on. You put the fork. Then we put the knife in it. Okay. There we go. All right. So let me show it to. Oh wait, 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 baby. Oh, oh, oh. stop, 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 stop. Look, 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 look. Make a little bit of a mess. Hold on. All right, I want to show you guys what it looks like, so you can see. It's just mashed up broccoli, cream cheese, and seasoning. And y'all, my daughter, as you can see, loves it. She's, she's sitting there licking the fork. It is so yummy, and it is so filling. I'll typically eat this by itself. I'll just eat the bowl by itself. Don't eat anything else with it. But it's really good with salmon, or baked chicken um, or grilled chicken 
really delicious. Um, it's great with uh, sweet potato um, fries um, and then some type of meat if you like it like that. I'm gonna show y'all how to. Eves, how is it? <laughs> it's yummy. <laughs> Mom, what's that? Uh, that's blue cheese. What's that? Ranch. What? Mm -hmm. Why was that? Uh, Cause somebody was using it, I think, for their salad or their cheese sticks. Pick it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Okay, all done. You come down. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell them bye bye. Bye. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm challenging you. Set the recharge dates. Like you never know what you need. And again, make it a regular thing to ask your friends, hey, do you need to recharge? I need to recharge. Even if you, and if you don't need to recharge, just asking them, do they need that? Make this space for them that they can do what they need to do to take care of their mental, emotional, spiritual well being um, so they can know where to pray for you, huh? Oh, yeah. So they can provide you additional perspective in certain areas. It is so key y'all we are not meant to do life alone and one of the ways to be well is to recharge to know when you are drained and needing additional support and amping up so do that with your girl so that is one of the tools to be well and get prepared to do all the crying and releasing huh okay one second so yeah, so again, those are about done. I'm gonna pull those out, give me one second. Okay, so, chickpeas um, or garbanzos. So you can see our garbanzo beans or just chickpeas. This is the same thing. So we got it from the place. We're just emptying that. Okay, baby, hold on one second. Into a preheated Pot. I'm gonna let those heat up, kind of get softer. Although they're pretty soft already, you can mash them, but I like them to be heated up a little bit so that when I put the sweet potatoes in, we're gonna mash it together. So we're gonna season this really quickly. Um, okay, can you get it out of the um, freezer, please? Huh? That's my girl. All right, so. Let's see what I want to. You got it, baby? There's no more? Okay, well, just get a popsicle then, baby. Let's get a... Can you get a popsicle? Huh? Can you get a popsicle? No. No? No. Okay. Okay guys, hold that thought. We're gonna see if I can reach this. As you'll know, on the days that I'm off from being a chef, my husband is the chef, so he puts everything up high because he can reach it. Mommy, don't it. Okay, baby. Cardamom. Ginger. Why can't he? Huh? So what I'm looking for, guys, is the coriander. But I don't see, it. oh, okay, look. So we'll do some turmeric. So we'll do, all right. So we're going to do some seasoning with ground cumin, ground turmeric, mm -hmm. thank you. Ground turmeric, some garlic powder, and onion powder, okay? 
I was going to season this real good real quick. So we're going to start with the turmeric. I used to have curry powder as well. Um, but we typically get that when we're doing the Daniels fast. A little bit of cumin. Some onion powder. And garlic powder. Boom. I'm gonna stir it all together. Cook a little bit. And while we do that, I'm gonna take the sweet potatoes out. <laughs> this is the longer one, guys, so I hope that you enjoy this. Let me know down in the comments. Do you like the longer I'm a Chef episodes? If you do, we can definitely do more of these because I definitely don't mind. Um, okay, that feels soft enough. We're gonna actually give it just a few more minutes. Hold on. We'll give it a few more minutes. Then we're gonna come back. I'll have it all diced up for you. We'll put it in with the beans. We're gonna mash it up and then we're gonna eat. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. Real life, this is a real thing. So I've been here peeling and scooping out the sweet potatoes. I think they're bad. And they smell almost fermented. So we're not going to be using these. You wanna see? Sweet potatoes. But I'm pretty sure these aren't good. I don't know if you guys can see if it clears up a little bit. Okay, baby. So we're not gonna use these, but we are going to eat the chickpeas because if you ever had hummus, then hey, you know exactly, it's delicious. So we're gonna use these, but this, I'm gonna throw away. So we're going to go ahead and plate what we have. Um, because again, honestly, I would typically eat this by itself anyways. It was just me being overly ambitious with you all. Huh? Okay, one second, pump, man. Give me one second. So, I'm gonna show you my plate. It's not the prettiest plate, but it's really good. Broccoli cream cheese and seasoned chickpeas, which you can mash up to make hummus. That's really what it is. So it doesn't have any sweet potatoes in it because the sweet potatoes are bad. So that's it. Quick and easy meal. Let me know if there's other meals that you want me to try. I know that most of the meals lately have been very vegetarian oriented, but you know, we're figuring out this healthy eating plan. And y'all, this waste, ah! it's coming together. It's coming together. <laughs> I'm gonna behave, but I hope that y'all enjoyed. Um, oh, I didn't even taste it with y'all. So reckless. Well, Evie tasted the broccoli. It's good because I'm a chef, obviously, and I have got to go run to get her because she is getting ice cream everywhere. So um, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. bye. <laughs> Evie said bye too.